One of the most common questions we hear at Navis is if an unexpected test result could be due to a false positive. But what exactly does that mean when it comes to toxicology testing? What is a false positive and how do they occur? How do you interpret your test results and determine if a result is truly a false positive? To understand false positives, we first need to understand the differences between the two types of drug testing we perform, screening or presumptive testing and confirmatory or definitive testing. Screening tests can be performed via point of care cups, which are often used in the field or in a provider's office. The other type of testing would be immunoassay based testing performed in the laboratory. Navis utilizes both EMIT and ELISA based methods for initial testing. EMIT stands for Enzyme Multiplied Immunoassay Technique, ELISA stands for Enzyme Linked Immunosorbent Assay. In both cases, they are presumptive tests because they provide an initial qualitative result. This means it can tell us if a substance is present in the specimen or not. However, more sensitive and specific methods must be used to confirm the initial finding and provide a definitive, quantitative, numeric result. Now, screening drug tests only test for the broader drug class, not specific drugs. For example, if a screening test is positive for opiates, we know that an opiate is present, but we don't know if that specific opioid is morphine, codeine, hydrocodone, or some other opioid. It's helpful to think of screening tests as a lock and a key model. The lock represents the drug test. The key represents the specific drug that might be present in a sample. And these tests are designed to identify a broad range of both prescription and illicit drugs. So in theory, there are different keys that can open each lock. Now, if the right key is present and opens the lock, you'll get a positive result. Using the amphetamines test as an example, because amphetamine and methamphetamine are very similar in structure from a chemical standpoint, both keys would open the same amphetamine lock. To identify which specific drugs are present in a sample and at what concentrations, we would need to perform a confirmatory or definitive test. Now, confirmatory tests are performed with highly sensitive methods used to identify the presence of a substance detected in the screening test. Navis uses liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry, or LCMSMS methods, to perform confirmatory tests to obtain definitive, quantitative, and legally defensible results. At times, a sample will unexpectedly screen positive for a substance that the patient says they did not consume. So what else can be behind the positive test result if the substance wasn't consumed? There are other substances, over-the-counter drugs, food and beverages, other prescription drugs, that have similar chemical structures to the target drugs being tested in the screening test. Returning to the lock and key analogy, these keys can also open the lock. Using our previous amphetamine example, pseudoephedrine and phenylephrine, which are commonly found in over-the-counter cough and cold medications, can cross-react with the amphetamines assay and show a positive test for amphetamine. In circumstances like this, if a patient says they did not take amphetamine, but they have taken cough and cold medications, the sample could be sent for more sensitive confirmatory testing. If it shows a negative result for amphetamine or methamphetamine, we can assume that it was an over-the-counter medication that caused the false positive. There are many other structurally similar substances that cross-react with drugs on immunoassays. Here are some of more of the common ones we see at Navis. Not only will over-the-counter cough and cold medications trigger positive results for the amphetamines assay, but bupropion, an antidepressant, will as well. Sertraline, an antidepressant, can cross-react with benzodiazepine assays. 
Food products containing poppy seeds are known to cross-react with opiate assays. Trazodone, an antidepressant, can cross-react with fentanyl assays. We even see positive screens for fencyclidine, also known as PCP or angel dust, which is not a prevalent illicit drug, but we see those positives due to cross-reactivity with dextromethorphan, diphenhydramine, and venlafaxine, another antidepressant, all triggering positives on the fencyclidine assay. Now, this is just a short list of potential cross-reactants. There are many known others, uh, and we'd recommend you call the toxicology hotline if you have questions about the potential for a false positive result. Turning to the actual reports, what would this look like on a drug test? In this example, the initial screen showed a positive result for amphetamine. However, after the final confirmation test was performed, the result was negative for amphetamine, methamphetamine, and phentermine. These are the controlled substances of concern in the amphetamines drug class. This is potentially an example where the patient had taken pseudoephedrine. Because we don't typically confirm for over-the-counter medications, the report wouldn't show that medication that triggered the initial false positive. But we can assume it was a cold medication if the patient had informed the clinician that they had taken one. In this example, the patient initially tested positive for benzodiazepines. After the final confirmation test, we see that the patient had taken sertraline, which would have cross-reacted with the benzodiazepine assay causing the false positive. Here, the initial fentanyl screen was positive, but we can see from the confirmatory results the patient had taken trazodone, which cross-reacted with the fentanyl assay, producing a false positive result. Discussing other medications or substances that may affect your patient test results supports a whole person healthcare approach and can help increase clinician-patient trust and improve patient adherence and outcomes. For more information about Navis's testing options, visit navisclinical.com or call 866-206-7721.